Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Uh, we're going to do a little video on baking pans, and uh, I've got a lot to say, a lot, okay? Um, years ago, uh, girls used to have hope chests, and I had one, and I bought uh, some pans at my mother's direction, of course, on what to buy, and uh, this is what I bought. This is a stainless steel baking pan. And of course I've made many cakes in this now. I had two. I don't know what happened to the other one, but think about it. I probably bought this in, let me see, 1962. And one of the things I used to make a lot in these pans uh, was the brownie mix, the Duncan Hunt or the Betty Crocker little brownie mix. I, I think I was addicted to them. And, uh, cut them in the pan so there's a lot of uh, uh, marks in there where I cut the brownies and whatever other kind of cake I made in these. Now again I had two of them and I don't know what happened to the other one but over the years it's been used a lot, a lot, lot and you don't see any rust and you can clean it out with just a metal scratcher or some of that stainless steel uh, bar or soap, I think is what it's called. But I'm, I mean, that wasn't even on the market, I don't think, back then. I just cleaned it out with a regular metal little scratcher thing. So here it is, and this is, uh, let's see, what would that be? 40, maybe 50 years? No rust, because it's stainless steel. All right, so not having but one of those pans, I, over the years, have had to buy other cake pans. Now, I bought all kinds. Okay, the non-stick, the, the aluminum, the uh, steel that is stainable, we'll call it. So these pans were bought about two years ago. There's what it looks like. Now what happened to this pan? We've just got humidity in South Carolina. So guess what? It rusts. That's what happens to it. All right. There's actually a little water in that where I rinsed it out, and look at that. In about 20 minutes, it's already rusted. I had to rinse it out because it was um, dusty, because I never use it. I, I use glass pans mostly to do with pies, but you really can't find glass cake pans. So I have been looking for many years for some stainless steel baking pans, or cake pans. Now here's the other one. It's not as bad, but see the but it's well on its way, okay? So, how much money have I spent on pans like this? I don't know, over the years, a lot, lot, lot. All right, so, the other day, let me show you this pan. Wanting to make another sheet cake, I bought this pan. I've used it twice. Now, it still looks okay. It's got a coating on it. But I guarantee you, I will probably get 10 uses out of this pan before it will also be messed up. Now, if you have a pan like this, you can't really cut anything in it. Like if you left the cake in it, because it's going to uh, scratch it. Now, this pan is, is some kind of coated steel, probably steel that will rust eventually. All right. Now, and there goes my oven, because I've got another pan in there. I want you to see I'm... I'm uh, cooking baked potatoes in it, and it's lined with aluminum foil, so I want you to see that pan, too. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I took my baked potatoes up. Here's the pan. Get a close-up of that. Okay. Now, I paid $18.95 for this pan about three years ago. I could count on both hands the number of times I've cooked in it. Now, for the baked potatoes, they're huge baked potatoes, um, excuse me, they're sweet potatoes and they're huge. So I had to line this pan with aluminum foil because I can see rust in here and of course the backing's coming off. Now, these pans, or this particular one, let me just show you the brand name. I purchased this at Walmart, I mean, excuse me, Bilo, in, in the Bilo grocery store. And I think I remember them saying there was a lifetime warranty. Well, what? 
lifetime warranty. And look, they are so nice. And they put this coating on it, so it's supposed to be non-stick. And look what they did. They put stainless steel handles on it. We don't have to have stainless steel handles. We want whole pan stainless steel, okay? That's what we would like. So anyway, I get mad just talking about this because I have spent so much money on baking sheets, cookie sheets, cake pans, uh, pie pans, all of it. All right, here's a cookie sheet. This is stainable steel, and it definitely rusts and stains, but I can still use it, but it's pretty bad when you make cookies and you take them off the sheet and they've got rust on the bottom of them. Now, the rust is just iron and it's really not gonna hurt you, but it certainly does look ugly on the bottom of a cookie, okay? Here's a larger one. And, you know, you can't put these in the dishwasher because they will just rust beyond belief. So all of these pans get hand washed. I mean, they don't, and we don't use any kind of uh, uh, scrubber on them or anything because they'll rust. Now this one I think was that diamond coating and I don't know how old this is, probably seven or eight years old and I've used it a lot but I'd really rather have a stainless steel. Now, so here's what happened. My husband who is very very good at finding products that I'm looking for I'm not so good at it, but he shops with Amazon all the time. Now, I want to explain a little bit about Amazon, how it works. If you don't have an account with Amazon, you really need to get one. And I think probably younger people maybe shop more with Amazon than us older people do. Uh, it, Amazon is sort of like the Sears and Roebuck of the modern day. That's what I think anyway. And, and I've ordered a few things, but, you know, I just let him do it because he always finds the stuff. So, anyway, I have been looking for stainless steel pans like this one that was from my Hope Chest for many years. Every time I go in Bed Bath & Beyond, when I go to Walmart, if I go through the little cooking aisle utensil thing, I always look, always. Now, Walmart has a lot of pans. They've got coated pans and they've got aluminum cake pans. Now, why don't you want aluminum? Because aluminum cooks really good. It's a very even heat. It makes a beautiful cake. Because aluminum in test have, has been tied to Alzheimer's. And uh, so has the dark coating on the pan. So there have been many, many tests and over several years they're still on the market. I'm not sure why, but the best thing to cook with, stainless steel, cast iron, or a Pyrex. I mean, that's it. Your pots need to be stainless steel. Your cookware needs to be stainless steel. So all these companies that make all these aluminum pans apparently don't know about the studies on aluminum, or maybe they do and don't care. I don't know. Most of it comes from China. I know that. But anyway, uh, you want the stainless steel. All right, for at least for the cake pans. Now, I know the non-stick is great, but even it, you know, the skillets and all, and I use some of them, but those skillets, uh, that little stuff starts coming off, and I don't think we abuse the pans when we clean them. Uh, you know, we don't use metal spatulas in them, or at least I don't, and you probably don't either. But eventually, that bottom coating starts coming off every time. I mean, I had bought them and bought them and bought them. And uh, finally, when I got the Gordon Ramsay uh, stainless steel cookware, I was so happy with that, and I still am. It works great. But here's the thing. I looked up the Gordon Ramsay thing on uh, the Internet, and he's now got a Gordon Ramsay that's got that black non-stick coating in it. I mean... He sold out on that, it seems, okay? So anyway, uh, again, Bed Bath & Beyond, if you look them up online, I, I would very much doubt you're going to find a stainless steel cake pan or a pie pan. Now, I've looked, and but I mean, maybe y'all could look more thoroughly than me, 
I couldn't find one. So anyway, here's here's the good news. A couple of days ago, well, it's actually been three days ago now, one night, uh, my husband said, are you looking for a stainless steel cake pan? And I said, yes, I am. And uh, he said, well, I think I found one. I said, where? I mean, I had to get my computer and look it up, too. He said, uh, Amazon's got them online. Do you want me to order you some? And I said, I sure do. And he said, well, okay, have a look at this and see if this is what will work. So I did. I, was, I, I couldn't even tell you how thrilled I was. I, it was just beyond belief that anybody would have that. So he went ahead and ordered them. And uh, I got him to order three of the cake pan and one uh, pie pan. I mean, I really didn't need the pie pan, but we needed to get the order to be $25. So he got, went ahead and got the, uh, the pie pan too. Now, Amazon really squeezes the suppliers. Y'all need to know that. You know how Walmart does that? And they keep lowering the price. Well, of course, the people who are getting less are going to be the suppliers. And uh, Amazon works the same way. So when, when you order something from Amazon and you get free shipping because you've ordered a certain amount, that money comes right out of the pocket of the supplier. So it's to your benefit to order from them. So you really just bypass the middleman and you're really getting uh, directly from the supplier except for the small amount of profit that Amazon makes. So, I mean, Amazon is absolutely the Sears and Roebuck of this current day. And uh, so anyway, he ordered them. And I wanted to show you the price. Now, I've, I've uh, taken out the, our account number and all that, but I think you can see this. You see that? So he ended up uh, spending $28, and we got the Super Saver discount, which was $7.99, and that was for the shipping. So I, I dare say you couldn't have gotten these any cheaper anywhere. The uh, cake pans are uh, $6.95, and I got three of them. And the pie pan was $7.54. I mean, where on earth could you get them that cheap? Certainly not. Well, Walmart doesn't even sell them. But these pans were more than that. And I'm pretty sure they came from Walmart. And how about the one I just showed you with the stainless steel handles? $18.95. I mean, these stores, we, we need to smarten up, okay, as consumers and start demanding stuff, you know? All right. I opened the box just briefly yesterday. It came, and by the way, uh, we ordered it on uh, September the 8th, and we had it at 4.30 September the 10th. How can you beat that? You, you really can't, okay? So it came with all this, of course, plastic airbag fill thing. But I can't tell you, I opened it up and just pulled one of them out to look at it. I was so thrilled. I mean, I get thrilled about the silliest things, but to me, I've been looking for this for so long, and I don't mean to be going on and on, but for y'all's help, you need to be cooking with the right kind of equipment. Here's the cake pan. I mean, excuse me, pie pan. Look at that. It's like a mirror. Now, this will not stain, and if you burn something in it, all you got to do is soak it a little while, and you can actually use a metal scratcher to get it out. I mean, it'll scratch it, but it still will cook. Remember this one? Bought in, I think, 1962, and it has really been used. Now, here's a new, excuse me, here's a new one. Here's the old one. Now, you don't see any rust on that whatsoever, none. And, by the way, it can go right in the dishwasher, as this one can. Now, this company, let's see, it's, it's Norpro. And I've got to give a thumbs up to them for, for making these. All right, so here's the pie pan. I only got one of the pie pan. We were just trying to get the order to $25 so we could get free shipping. And here are my cake pans. I got three of them. And I'm going to make a three layer cake too. Look at this. Isn't that great? Let me take this out. How can you beat that? Total stainless steel. Solid. I mean, you can't bend it. Let me get, 
get one of these to show. So then you can you can actually depress it in the middle there. Not so here. You couldn't bend that in if your life depended on it, okay? You'd have to have a hammer or something. There they are, three of them. It, 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 I get so excited I can hardly put it into words because it's been so, so long and I've looked for these for so long and you would think a chain as big as Bed Bath & Beyond would carry these, wouldn't you? Or at least have them on their website. I could not find them. They, they just weren't there. So I don't really, I've not researched this company. I don't know who they are. All I know is this pan is stainless steel and that's exactly what I was looking for. And I can tell you they will last forever. Your lifetime, they will definitely last. Now, what can I use these for? I don't know, I'm gonna throw them away. That's what I'm gonna do with them. Because who would wanna cook a cake in that? You know, and okay, did I do something wrong? Maybe I put something acid in them. Maybe that was it. I put a cake in them. How acid can a cake be, you know? All right, the pie pan. How did you make this pie pan rust like that? You must have done something wrong. What? What did I do wrong? I was cooking in it, okay? All right, I'm getting all stirred up and I don't need to. Y'all need to get this from Amazon and you need to really pay attention to your cookware. It, it absolutely needs to be stainless steel uh, cast iron, and I've got some cast iron things, but I can't really use them on my cooktop, but I'm saving them. I mean, I'm not throwing those away. So, uh, or, or either cooking in, in Pyrex like glass, because these coatings come off. I don't care how, if they guarantee them for life, they still come off. Now, I think this one is probably aluminum. You definitely don't want to be cooking in aluminum. Uh, now, uh, the tests and, and the different trials they've done, I don't think were very conclusive, or else I think the government would have stepped in on the aluminum. But, you know, we use aluminum foil all the time. I used it today when I baked in that pan. So I just went from bad to worse on that. But what choice did I have? I don't have a larger pan than that. Now, I have not looked for larger pans. Um, I, I think I asked my husband, did they have other pans? I think they had square ones too. I didn't really need a square one because I've got some Pyrex square ones. So I think that he said there were square ones also, like for making brownies or something. And by the way, if you made brownies in this, you know, you don't have to be careful about cut. And I mean, even if you, cut it and, and it, it makes a scratch on it, it's still not going to rust, okay? All right, I hope I've sold y'all on this. Now, how to get these. If you don't have an Amazon account, you need to open up an Amazon account and you need to start looking at Amazon on prices because you just can't beat them. None of these chains can beat them. Think about it like this. Walmart probably wants about 25% profit from their suppliers on whatever they sell. And you're going to find the same thing true with uh, all the chains. They're all the same. So if you can go through Amazon, the profit is not nearly so much. Now Amazon takes a profit, but it's not nearly as much as the Walmarts and the Targets and Kmarts and all those, those chain stores. So what you need to do is open up an Amazon account. Now once you open up an account, and it's not like a charge account. You're just opening an account with Amazon. You give your address and everything. Then every time after that that you order, uh, they'll have your shipping address. I mean, they'll ask you for it again, but it'll be printed there. All you've got to do is almost click on the item and you can, you know, buy it that way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link for this on my website. Now, It'll be under products I recommend, and boy do I recommend them. I mean, what can I say? I've had experience with stainless steel, and this is wonderful, okay? So, you can order them by, uh, I'm going to put the link down below this video to the exact place on my website, and I'm going to have an icon there at the top of the page for Amazon for these exact pans. 
Now, if you want a square pan or maybe a bigger pan, you can still find them in the same place. So I'm going to put the, the little uh, icon down uh, below on my website. Now, the link below this YouTube video will be the link to my website. It's in the blue. All you got to do is click on it. And if you don't have an Amazon account, you need to open up one. Now, here's one other thing. On, uh, if you have Chrome as your search engine, I'm not search engine, is that the search engine? I don't know. Anyway, if you have Google Chrome, uh, and a lot of times on the Google Chrome, the pop-up ad blocker won't allow the icons on websites to come up. And so, if, and I know on my own site, uh, well, excuse me, not my site, on my husband's computer, he has to go through Internet Explorer and regular Google so the icons will come up. So if you've got Chrome, you want to, instead of going through Chrome, just go through uh, Internet Explorer, whatever other search engine you have, and the icons on my website will come up for the Amazon for these pans. If you want different pans, square pans, or whatever, you know, all you've got to do is just go down below and you'll find them. All right, that was my rant and rave on stainless steel pans. I, I, I was so thrilled. I mean, at my age, it takes a lot to really excite me, other than fruits and vegetables. But this, I got very excited about. And I really, even after my husband ordered them, I found it hard to believe until I pulled that little pie pan out and saw it. I was so thrilled. Anyway, I have not made a cake in these yet, but I'm going to now. You know, most people who bake cakes and all say, oh, there's nothing like aluminum. And I agree, it cooks perfect. But here's a, there's a little bit of a health problem there, okay? So you need to be cooking in something different besides aluminum, okay? I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but uh, I hope you will try these pans. I mean, how can you beat these prices? You really, you really can't, not anywhere. And uh, this must be a really good company. I hope they're an American company. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't really... Okay, they're made in India. I just read that. They're made in India. Who cares as long as they're stainless steel? They're made in India. All right, but it's not China, okay? It's India. All right, so uh, I'm going to leave the links down below. Now, the link will be to my website, the little blue link will be to my website to the exact page for products I recommend. If you click on that, then it'll take you to that page and you'll see the Amazon icons, but don't go through Chrome, go through like Internet Explorer and another search engine and the icons will appear. All right, we will see you next time and y'all forgive me if I've ranted and raved, but I feel very strongly about this. Thanks so much for watching.